Hi everyone, today we are going to change a, a touch on Vodafone V FD1100. It, it looks very simple job but uh, why I am making the video, lots of people while changing the touch break the LCD. The reason behind is that this is a replacement touch so they think that we are going to take out the touch like that and just slide it in and it will be fine. It's not the case because this glass is stick to it very very hard and when they push it they break the LCD so if you're going to remove it from the top 90% chances are that you'll break the LCD it has clips so we're going to insert our nail or some tool to open it you see these clips go all around it Go all around the clips. The battery is attached to the with the glue to the back cover. We're going to put it aside. Uh, this is your volume and power button. Just keep it on a safe place. The screws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven screws. I'm just going to open them. So once all the screws are out, remove this area and this clip holding the LCD looks like it's never been opened before. Either you can just remove it simply, put it aside. Now you can see you can take out the touch flexi and the LCD flexi. This thing looks water damage also, so I have to be extra careful. I think mistake already made, I never checked it. I just took the customer word because it was broken. And she works on the, okay. The ribbon looks fine. So we can put the board aside. Now we can just push the LCD a little bit. And if it doesn't come out, just heat up from this side so it can loosen up the grip. I am going to heat it up a little bit. Now you can see the reason behind why I opened it from the back and to remove everything. I think somebody did replace the touch before and they put too much glue. So just heat up all around it until it doesn't come out nicely because we don't want to break the LCD. can see that it came out it wasn't easy keep the heat to 250 260 and continuously heat around all around it it's better that way beside of giving it too much heat if you're using the heat gun medium to low you can see all the small tiny glasses glass pieces so there it is the remaining one Just be careful because it's glass, it can cut your hand and somebody put glue nicely. So it's been replaced before but they did a very shitty job. So I'm just gonna take out these bits and pieces of the glass one by one and don't gonna waste your time. Whoever did the job, it's it's really bad job done previously. You can see use shoe glue. I'm amazed how people work sometimes with these kind of cheap methods. But that was the reason showing you the video. Because it opens, making a video, the reason behind was that you can see it comes out in pieces. So if you start taking it out from top, you can damage the LCD. I'm just going to clean this thing with the thinner now because there is nothing else beside the speaker. I'll remove the speaker and clean it with the thinners. As you can see now, it's properly clean. There is no glue there. Please never use shoe glue or smut bond or something like that onto your plastic things. It doesn't come off easy when you need to change it again or you need to do the job again. If you can't find B7000, B8000, this glue, 
then the closest thing that you can do use is that uh, gilu that you use in stationary products like making those uh, projects for school or or something decoration pieces that is still acceptable you can still remove it when you heat it up but not this uh, shoe gilu please never use that because it will create a problem for you one day now i'm going to install it back i'm going to put this speaker cushion uh, the speaker back and most of the parts then will just stick it with the b7000 so now i'm going to apply the uh, gilu all around yeah oh, sir ji utte ek unne gilu ya na thop so you see i put all around the gilu we can slide it in the touch ribbon and even if the frame is broken in these things you can still close it nicely even if it is in two three pieces you see it attaches nice because once you put the lcd and the board it gives it support speaker is back microphone rubber is back here so now we're going to put the LCD and if there is any gap that's because of that broken piece but you can see now it's gonna fit proper it was very difficult to clean this thing now we can put the board back and i'm going to put the volume button and power button and then going to put all the screws so once everything is back all the screws are back you can see there it's closed properly connect the battery and you just press around main purpose of making this video was to show you that that wh uh, how why you should not open it from front <coughs> so then there is a risk that you can break the lcd now i'm going to put it on charging and test it because the phone was very low thank you very much please like subscribe my channel like my video share it with your friends until next time goodbye